What is up you guys, it's your boy Captain Jack. Welcome back to the channel. You see I'm not on a power boat right now. I am aboard Adventure Born. Another YouTuber, Adventure Man Dan, he was nice enough to have me aboard his vessel. We're going to remote islands and we're gonna do some spear fishing, eating what we catch on board this 39 Beneteau sailboat. Uh, I love this kind of stuff. I could do this every day if I if I could. This morning, we quickly sailed off anchor and uh, got into a little dicey of a situation, but we ended up managing it. All right, you guys, so that was crazy. We just uh, sailed off of anchor and we came in close to some boats. And some some swim areas. I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm curious to see how Dan's gonna pull this off. And he did it. And he made it seem so chill, like it was like it ain't no thing. But we're going now. Now we're going to a remote island. It's miles from the mainland, and the spear is supposed to be really good. So I cannot wait for that. We got Dylan on board, we got Adventure Man, and then on our way over there, we're gonna meet up with Blake and Lane, they're also on a sailboat. If you've been watching, part one was the last episode and we got a lot of adventure coming your way. So do not go anywhere and I'll see you guys out there on the remote island. All right, while we're on passage, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm just gonna jump off the moving boat. And with this thing, there is no like turning around. It's pretty wild. Dan showed me earlier. Let's see if I can make it look as graceful as he left? did. As graceful as him. Should I dive? Oh yeah, yeah, no, do a gainer. No, nah, hell no. But hey, uh, seriously, though, don't let the boat hit you. It'll fuck you I'm up. gonna dive off that way. Yeah, but make sure you go to this way a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready? Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, you can outrun it. You can outrun it. <laughs> Dude, that's scary. I'm like worried. I'm so worried. <laughs> oh. Dude, this is nice. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, pants are almost falling down. Woo! Dude, all right, I want to do that again. That was really cool. All right, you guys, we freaking, we we just, just anchored here, and uh, and Lane was like, hey, I'm going to hop on my board. I'm going to go check out these rocks. Bro, this guy, <laughs> look at what he got. Monster. Dude, they call him the Lobster King? Lobster King. That's right. All right. Master, master at his craft. That's awesome. Holy crap. That is a mongo. We got lunch. That's for sure. We just pulled up. All right, you guys, I'm going to send it. I'm going to do a little uh, solo mission off the paddle board. We're going to, uh, I'm going to strap some of my dive gear down. I'm just going to tow this thing. I'm going to kind of check out some rocks, check out this island that I'm at. And uh, yeah, hopefully going for lobster, going to spear some fish, hoping. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get after it. Get in the water. We got some good viz. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. But, yeah, let's tag along and see what we get into. Welcome back to the voiceovers, everybody. Um, so I'm gonna basically give you a long video of how I'm rigging everything up. And I'm getting everything prepared now and early so I don't have to deal with it while I'm in the water. So I'm using my Rob Allen belt reel to kind of tie up everything here you see. So I have a Ziploc bag with my defog in case I need to re-defog whenever I hop in. And then I have a strap attaching to the Ziploc bag. And then I'm also attaching my line, my belt reel to the Extra paddle and then to the defog and then to the paddle board. Um, and that way, so whenever I'm pulling on the paddle board, I'm not pulling all the stuff off. So I basically set it up and you see how the way I tied it, I'm gonna basically have to get my line that is attached directly to my reel and attach that to the board so I'm not pulling this stuff off of the board because I want everything to stay on the board while I'm diving. But I'm rocking the one glove, I got my fins, and now it's time to kind of hop in the water. And I think I... Yeah, I think I get this situated. I make sure I pull enough line off of my belt reel. Oh, and then I forgot that my defog that I make sure uh, was not in the Ziploc bag. I just see it right there, but oh well, we'll figure it out. Um, you see, I pull everything kind of back towards the back of the paddle board, and then I attach the part that's straight to my belt reel through here. I think I tie it or I might clip it on. I should have just tied it. 
Um, but I ended up just making a loop and kind of tie it with using the um, tuna clip there. But um, that way, see, whenever I pull it, I'm pulling the paddle board, not the paddle and my defog off there. And I pull out a ton of line off of my belt reel because I also have to dive. Not only I want the paddle board to ta tag along behind me, but I also want it to be, like, able for me to go down. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically prepping here, getting ready to go in the water, and you'll see... Once I'm finally set up, I grab my gun is the last thing, and then I will head down into the water. And I'm rocking, rocking the uh, Rob Allen 120. I realistically should have probably gunned down a little bit because of the restructure and the holes I'm diving here. But realistically, I didn't really know what the situation was. And I actually tried to gun down, and it was honestly like a big mistake because well you'll see in a minute whenever I get into it but I didn't really shoot a lot around these rocks Dan actually had a his dinghy ready to rock and roll and him and Dylan took off on a mission and went a little ways away from us um, and so they got into it but he, he was nice enough to give me all of his footage but I go ahead and load up I'm ready to rock and roll but we'll switch back to me after we roll on Dan's footage and you can actually hold your breath with Dan um, as he's doing uh, some drops right now. So this is Dan's GoPro. He went out on a little bit of a deeper area. And uh, the first fish he shoots at, uh, I think it's a, I forget what it is. Um, we'll see. I think it might be a mutton. I think he takes a long shot on a mutton or a yellow jack, one or the other. So he's just making his way down cruising along the edge of the coral he's really looking for maybe like a rock hind or some kind of grouper in the edge there but I don't think he sees anything he wakes down there patiently and right now it looks like he set his eyes on something I can't really tell yet what it is I think it's a oh I think it's a runner all right, so he ha he was on this kick where he wanted to prove to us that runner was really good, and it actually wasn't that bad sashimi raw. I've, I've cooked it up, and it doesn't cook up that great, um, but this one was not bad. Um, but as you hold your breath, he ends up gutting that runner, and it brings in this Almaco Jack, and then also this Yellow Jack. And I'm a big fan of Yellow Jacks; they're always you know my go-to. He absolutely rolls that thing with his. Um, I think he's rocking a rife right now. Uh, but yeah, he rolled that thing. Uh, heads up to the surface. Another fish. And this is like really close time frame that he got these fish. Uh, and he only dove for like an hour and just got a huge smorgasbord of fish. And we'll go over it at the end. And again, here's another breathe up from Dan. He goes down. And I think he may get a mutton on this one. Oh, no. No, he, he's, he passes up on that um, Almaco, which is a good call because of Ciguatera, that there's a chance that it could have Sig. Um, but he shoots these uh, uh, queen trigger, and I know it's kind of controversial uh, shooting queen triggers, but over here it is legal. Um, so he shoots this guy, and there's, there's plenty of them around, and um, they're really pretty fish. But yeah, he pops this one, and they're absolutely delicious. Another fish added to the board for me. So here we go, and again, another breathe up for Dan. If you want to pause the video, definitely pause it or rewind it. That always is good for the uh, algorithm. Uh, this dive, he goes down, kind of dive bombs on a mutton, and I'm assuming it may be coming in after some of the chum from the last dive he dove, uh, but he did not have to dive deep for this one. Only about like 12 feet for this guy because he didn't really need to... Uh, didn't really need to go all the way to the bottom and he shot top down and you know when you're shooting top down you have the momentum of the spear so you can shoot pretty far and pretty straight when you're shooting top down on the fish but yeah solid mutton uh you don't want to get them too big that's like perfect size for this area so now in this drop uh he goes down makes i think he gets a Oh yeah, yeah, he gets after a, a, a rock hind, a strawberry grouper. They're really good uh, to eat, and they're really kind of a fair, like fairly easy fish to spear. So if you're new into spear fishing, rock hinds are really easy because they rock up, and like, he, like that, he just kind of hung out at the edge there. 
slowly moving along the edge and they're a big time predatory fish so they're kind of like think they're top dogs of the reef and you can really get the drop on them and uh, get a good shot on them. Tons of firsts. Um, people have taken diving shooting rock hinds or strawberries for their first time it's always a good go-to um so now we switch back to me i found a lionfish in this like hole and my gun is way too big so i try this um my first time trying it you'll see if it works i have a load assist for my gun and this is a 120 i i shoot tuna wahoo everything with this gun um so i kind of power it down by using the load assist but you'll see it's not exactly what I was hoping for I should have moved a lot farther away and I really dulled the crap out of my spear on that shot and I didn't realize till later and you'll see on the next video I shoot a really good fish and you'll see how this dulled tip really affected that shot on the fish so um don't go anywhere. Make sure you're watching this video and the next one. And uh, be sure to follow on the adventures. Like and subscribe uh, so you guys can keep following along with this trip. But after Dan was done shooting all of his fish, he came over, picked up me, picked up Lane, and brought our paddle boards over to a new spot that was amazing. Now, once we got the dinghy, it made the world of difference. Uh, we were actually able to get on a spot with a ton of life, and you can see here, Dan makes it drop, gets in this huge school of horse-eyed jacks, and these are not great to eat and shoot, even in the States, uh, so we're kind of being really selective. Dan has plenty of fish, uh, but we're just kind of sightseeing at this point, unless I see something worth shooting, which I do on this next drop. So get ready to hold your breath. We're gonna do a countdown. We're gonna head um, head all the way down. I think this is like in the you know deeper 40 feet depth. Uh, and uh, you see Dan kind of made a slow drop there. I go into the sand and I don't see anything at first, but I decide to kind of I think I kick up sand or I I threw a throw flasher maybe I, yeah I think I threw my throw flasher down to this little sandy patch. And uh, if you have a sandy patch you're looking at, see my flasher right there fell right into a little thing of coral. But I go to the bottom, sit there, I do a little bit of grunting, looking around, hoping for some fish to come in. Nothing came in right to the flasher, but maybe the grunting, maybe the scratching might help a little bit. But I grab my gun, I do a little sand toss, and I saw some dog snapper off in the distance. There were some really big ones, but there were also some like smaller, perfect eating size. Like I said, you don't want to get anything too big in this area because of the ciguatera. So I do a nice little long drop here, kind of towards the end of our diving, because uh, we have plenty of fish, realistically, and the lobster that Lane got. Uh, so dog snapper comes in. There was a really big one, I think, up farther, but I end up tailing on this one, giving me the tail wag, and that is literally the worst thing. When they do that tail wag, you don't know when they're gonna turn, and it really makes them easy. They're in a, in a groove of going left and right, so once they hear that gun click, they quickly turn the other direction. So this guy quickly dodged my spear, went up empty-handed, and actually went home empty-handed. Thank God for the other guy that's good diving. With, it was a dog, but it was a smaller. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. yeah. This is the Jack Spear original. I don't know why I've never seen this before, but that is brilliant. Oh, I don't give a shit about the bag, but. Yeah, we didn't lose any fish. got a permit? Dude, that's awesome. No man. way. All right, so Lane got it done, but look, look what he got. Look at this permit. Comment below, like, it's like wide eyes. eyes are so. Normally the eyes aren't that big. Eyes big that's ones. weird. Or maybe it's just. Talk about a headshot. Yeah, right? That's crazy. I think it's a Oh, maybe it went in through there. All right, so that's what you want over here, because uh, a lot of those fish have big chance, like a huge chance of ciguatera, and um, I saw some big, big dog snapper, and those are just not ideal, because uh, like I said, they they could have ciguatera. But um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, head in. This is plenty of meat for us for dinner, so we're gonna cook them up tonight. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head back, and uh, yeah, I didn't get it a whole lot on camera, but we have some crazy stuff in store for you guys, so don't go anywhere. Um, 
if the not wrecks. this episode. We're diving the wrecks. We are diving wrecks. Spoiler alert, we're diving wrecks and I'm excited for it. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back in the boats. Blaine, look at that stuff, dude. Woo! Dude, killed it. Absolutely killed it. Slade. Bro, Lane, so what, what happened, dude? Man, what do you want me to tell you? I what want you to tell me the truth. Uh, let the, tell the people. It tell was, the people. It was my day. Today it was my day. Today was Biden your day. was with me. The ocean was feeling me. Saw Eagle Ray, red spotted Eagle Ray. Saw yeah. a turtle, saw a shark, permit, bug. Current was with us. Dude, you slayed. Yeah. It was my moment. You slayed. Yeah, thank you. Today was your day. My moment. And then Dan. All right, so I didn't get any footage, not a lot of footage, but I know Dan got some footage of him slaying some fish. So I went for the smorgasbord. Kind of one of everything. I'm pretty yeah, happy man. with it. Pretty That's happy. all good quality too, yeah. man. No worry about SIG with any of these. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, Jack yeah. didn't get any fish today. So. Oh God, slap me. <laughs> tail, tail slap me. You guys, this is how you get it done. Paddleboard fillet uh, job. Yeah, that was Got the knife. Good. I'm gonna set the camera up there so you guys can see. And uh, we're just gonna have, I'm gonna have people hand me stuff from up top. We'll see how this goes. Be a uh, schoolmaster. Get a nice angle. Where are we throwing the fish at? You have, uh, right here? Oh, you mean like the finished fillet okay. job? Go right down along the spine. Flip it along the pin bones here. And right out. Look at that. Oh, perfection. I'll do the other side before I skin out that one. Oh, there'll be more. Yeah, I'm curious what comes in. I'll try to give you a heads up before I go to the top of the They won't. They know better. They know they got something coming their way if uh, they decide to mess with me. Yeah, and it's a little bit of that head meat, but I, I won't tell if you don't. That's how it's done. Look at that. And you can see everything through it. There you go. Now the fun part. Make sure your knife is flush press on it. Those, that's why those flexi knives are good because you can, otherwise it'd be at an angle, you can push down, get it nice and flexed while applying pressure. Use the tip. Oh! Use the tip. Right out there. Boom. Look at that. That's a good job. And the best part about this, oh yeah. Let me finish this last thing. There we go. Like that. Then you got the pin bones. They're right on this lateral line. Cut. 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 Toss. And if you have a little bit, there's some belly meat here that I can kind of cut out like that. If you have to. That's what you get, dude. Look at that. The best part is nice and rinsed in some nice salt water. All right, so we are out here. Dan is literally massacring this lobster that Lane got. We've got all the legs ready to go. These are delicious to eat. This is a perfect eating size. Boil them. There's a little bit of meat here that will sort of be charred, if you will, by the boil. So it'll really be from here down. It's gonna be delicious, but you pop, pop, pull out the tendon, eat it. It's just good to go. Yeah, so those will be hors d'oeuvres. We're gonna, um, sorry, I'm getting you out of the wind. Um, we're actually going to, no, you're good to taste it. You're blocking the wind. Oh, I gotta get, I gotta get the, uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, does anybody want the, the head? Is the head going for chum? Nah, dude. You know what? We'll put it on the front of the boat like a hood or a joke. <laughs> joke and throw, it, throw it to the shark. So yeah, we're gonna uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna finish uh, chopping this stuff up. We're gonna make some more dirt, and then we're gonna go have uh, we're gonna cook up and then have dinner over at uh, on Dan's boat, which is over yonder. So yeah, we'll see you guys when we're done when we're cooking up.
at the size of that tail. You that's dinner for see, that's dinner for at yeah, least two, but we got. You want me to put the world on the recipe? Uh huh. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let him, you want to you want to give it to him? Yeah, hey, I don't, hey, I don't, I I don't know if they're ready. Are they ready? I don't think most of them won't be ready. But yeah. when they are ready, they'll know where to get it. They gonna have to get ready. <laughs> All right, here's what we do. We uh, we parboil the tail for six or seven minutes. Depends on how big it is. We definitely want to get all of it hard. Then we're gonna pull that out and let it let it cool off. And meanwhile, we're mincing garlic, or you can buy minced garlic. And uh, we got butter. We picked up butter. That's right. Get in a separate pan. Where's that separate pan at? Right here. Let me get it. We're gonna yeah. get this. We're gonna sizzle butter in there. Mix the garlic. A little Tony Sass in there. Oh, we Tony Sassray. That's the secret recipe right there. And we're gonna butterfly the tail. We're gonna have to do another video of that. All right. We'll butterfly the uh, parboiled tail and pan seared on both sides. In that butter and garlic with some Tony Sands. Heck okay. yeah. That's where it's at. All right. Well, this is this is your Mississippi boy. No, Texas. This is Southeast Texas. Southeast Texas. Right. Southeast <laughs> Texas. Southeast Dude, Texas. we got we got our Louisiana boy over here. But yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get hey, into we're this. Right next and, door, uh, baby. Yeah, comment below if you think Nick Lane knows what he's doing. Uh -oh. I think he I think uh -oh. he's got it got it dialed in. I, I've had some of his cooking before in some of those other U USBI videos, and dude. It Sabre. does not disappoint. Sabre. That was it a good one, the Epstein. That was a good one. That the was shrimp, a good one, dude. That was a stud lobster. I'll link that one at the end of yeah, the video. Yeah. For sure. And comment below if you've seen that one where I get a stud lobster Show off of uh, Show them that tail, bro. off of Epstein's Island. Look at Show that thing. That All right. Yeah, Lane, Lane's the lobster king. He's known on the islands for lobster king. Say hi to the, the Mississippi family Missis and baloney. Yeah, this is say hi. It's saying hi to the Mississippi family and baloney. This one's for baloney. Yeah, this one is for you, baloney. Hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> Lane's feeling it, man. We're, we're Gunner and, Ol and Oliver. Just not champagne. Don't <laughs> baloney, Gunner, and Oliver. <laughs> baloney, Gunner, and Oliver. He had to get that one in. All right, we got this garlic. Look at that. Butter, garlic, butter, sautéed. Look right here. got that. He's got that semi cooked all the way through. He's gonna sear it. There you go. Look at that. Look at it. It's look it's it semi. It, it, it's still a little translucent. But look at that, dude. It's, he's gonna cook that down and just smack it down and sear it. Your boy knows what he's doing, man. He knows. All right, so we, we basically dice these firm it up into like little nugget size. And uh, and we got a Ziploc bag. I dumped a bunch of I threw the fillets in there, and we got dumped a bunch of rice flour, some Tony sass, and um, some Miller light. And this is the consistency you want. You want it to be like a gooey mixture in there. It was a little uh, a little too um, kind of flaky before, but now it's like a gooey mixture. And I'm just sitting here massaging it, waiting for Blake to get the, the get the uh, oil ready. And once this is ready, I'm just gonna start dipping my fingers in and just laying them out, and we're just gonna beer batter them. And this is this is how you wanna do it. It's like a tempura batter, gluten free. Actually, probably not, but whatever. A little sesame seed oil. Hey, oh man. yeah, he, he's he's rocking the sesame seed oil. He's going uh, he's going Japanese style. All right, so it's turning out pretty good. We got bass number two going on. This is bass number one, and it's good, like Golden real brown. good. Golden brown. Golden brown. Look at that. Money. That's good. Like, can you shoot another permit tomorrow for me? What? Can you shoot another one? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yep, you got it. Hey, we're doubling. No, we're, no, yeah, I was about Blake. to say, we're doubling oh, up on permit. Said, I thought he said Blake. I thought he said Blake. Can you shoot me another permit? I, that, I, I was talking one. to him. No, Lane. Yeah, we're getting another one. We're yeah, yeah. Another well, tomorrow one. morning, I think you're going out with. With Dan and, and me, Lane's gonna be out here shooting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll, 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 see. we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see who brings home the good stuff. That's right. That's burn. right. At lunch, we'll see who brought in the bacon. I feel like because it's morning mac. time. It's morning time. So I feel like we're getting a mac and a permit, maybe a couple bugs. Oh yeah. And a tan. And a what? Wet suit. I can't get a better tan. All yeah, right, sir. All right. Well, um, yeah, we're gonna get all this together. We're gonna go over to Dan's boat and. Um, yeah, we're gonna see what's what they got cooking over there. We're gonna combine meals and just have a freaking smorgasbord of fish. Yeah. All right, look at this. Don't worry about that. Just sand. Sand is my. All right, we go for we go to the luxurious 
He's got candle lit in here. Dylan, you better have the candles lit. <laughs> Look at this. Bro, we're gonna be eating good. We're eating off the seashells. Look at this. Oh, dude, you guys crushing it with the crab sticks. This is nice. Look at this. This is tight. I wish I had a This is tight. All right, we're, I, I, I do we're doing some, uh, <laughs> we're choosing our miso. Gentlemen, cheers yeah. to the good life. Uh -huh. Dude, we, we killed it. Good job. Yo, team you effort. guys killed it. Team effort, everybody. Everybody all around. That was, was a great team. Blaine killed it. Yeah. Wait, hold on hey, now. Yo. I got some fish. Same fish. Wait, hey, so did got, you. You got a lot. He yeah. provided this, this, and this. Blaine did that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sorry, Blaine did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I, I saying didn't that. I combined your guys' names. It's Lane. Lane combined. Blaine. Blaine. Blazer. Blazer. All right, you guys, that was an amazing night, an amazing dinner. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, we have a lot more action coming your way. Tomorrow we're going to get after it, which is actually today. But you guys are going to have to wait to see that episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I love posting content like this. Comment below if you have any questions, comments. And if you enjoyed this one, give it that thumbs up. Like always, guys, I'll see you next week for another adventure. Later.